Of course. Uh, good question. There's different kinds of deserts, actually, as far as I remember. But some of them get very little rain, but it does rain throughout the year. Munchies. And other ones just get like dumped okay, on some food. monsoon flood areas and stuff. And then those areas have fish. Which is weird because it's like, but this area was all dry like a My day ago. Are gonna be like years after all this hiking now. But there's like eggs and stuff in the sand. And a lot of the fish, like the, a little bit of river, water that was around, got combined with rivers from the flooding oh, kind of stuff. Shit. Yo, you that got this. Here. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. You gotta got this, bruh. So, maybe you can help us get out of here. Mm. Don't toss it off the cliff. I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. Soup's careful. Hopefully, there's no one down there. There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice man. False push. Got some Vader moves up in here. Oh man, I've had a song stuck in my head for like three days. Wake up in the morning, immediately starts playing in my head. Ooh. Wolves. Whose place is this? <laughs> is that something we made? Oh, definitely not. Looks like something was hey, welded. Go see what Joanne is doing. Oh, these Go must be it. the people we've I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Okay. Hello. Thanks for letting us borrow. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen. <laughs> back soon. Man, we've met some actually really wonderfully nice and kind people. Can pancakes you Daniel you copy yes I read you Ten I have a pancake alert in the kitchen repeat pancake alert whatever Joanne has waffles over and out <gasps> Ten four. waffles no flying pancakes today flying pancakes huh <laughs> all right hold on in the great debate between pancakes and waffles it's all about the pan waffles. USB stick. Wait, did I take their USB stick? I hope not. She's really good at rewriting her own life. I'm a solo Mobius strip. Just when I reach the end, I go back to the beginning. Resign myself to new faces, the privilege to escape and rewrite another draft. Goddess laughs at plans, then shows me the pages left unmarked for years. Out in the ghost desert, the seas return as saplings to reveal their age and power. Now I go back forward, layered with fear and hope to water the children of the sun. This one's children pretty of the intense. Sun. <clears throat> I think I get it. Don't believe I would find a soul within or without a church. A miracle. A miracle was sleep and food and fuck. A miracle was sleep and food and fuck. Oh, I get it. A day without shit until it was not. Now we run to celestial spires, O oh, visions of the fake prophet, engulfed in ego and belief, 
As the burning cross falls on your cruel angels, I am the bonfire of vanities, so when the dam breaks, we all flood. Like a glass on a mirage, if I believe. I'm horrible at getting meaning in poetry. Whoa. That's a lot of writing. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. All right, I gotta read it. Mom and Dad, I've been thinking about this letter for a while, and I know it's been a long, long time coming. So I'm here, sitting here tonight, thinking about the words I should have written 10 years ago. You always used to say everything happens for a reason. We fought about it then. I understand why. Is the grayed out stuff she crossed out? I understand why now. There's a reason. I feel like I have to reach out to you both from tonight from the desert. I know you've only heard from me once by phone and six times a letter for almost a decade. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, and I was certainly not trying to punish you like you told me. Don't laugh, but I don't. I just don't know what to say or write. Poets block. Just like how you had to block me from your life after I left F Esteban. I understand that was how you had to deal with a problem child, an only child who didn't live up to your expectations. Yeah, that's when they're crossed out. There's no denying that I failed you, but the burden... The, the weight of your aspirations as fail as parents failed me too. You had such a rigid opinion of what I was supposed to be that I just didn't have the chance, the opportunity, to explore who I actually was. You wanted a daughter to grow up happy, find a good job, and great husband, settle down to breed, to have kids, and raise them in faith to continue the cycle of suburbia. That daughter wasn't me. I know you were raised in different time and culture, so I don't understand your point of view. Like you didn't understand your wayward daughter maybe at bridge too far for us this time at the time. After Danny was born, you knew I wanted to take a break, some time to figure out in my head and heart. It didn't make sense to your you or dad, and I get that, but you didn't see how. I was so desperate and only Esteban was, Esteban was willing to give me the time because he saw how unhappy I was. I don't blame you for my decision to leave and maybe a time out would have led to some outcome. We will never know, and I try not to live in regret. My life has been a roller coaster, and there have been times I long to hear your voices and thoughts, even the negative ones. And I know when I last talked to you in New York to ask for help in paying back my debts, you wanted to help, but it was not your condition in re to return right back to where I couldn't return. It was, oh, it was on your condition to return back to where I couldn't return. I hate that was our last conversation. I am sorry I reached out to you this day. I'm sorry I broke your hearts. I'm sorry I let you break mine for silencing me for so long. I think we've paid our dues. And now I sit under a blue field of crystal stars like the poet I am, riding and waiting for a chance to rebuild an old bridge with my mother and father. I hope we can cross it one more time. Love your daughter. She crossed out love. So I must be hanging with mom right now. Ooh, name tag. Either Karen was desperate it's a frog. for a job, or she loved working with kids. Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Cool. I kind of like your decorations. What are these chilies? Oh, those are lights. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Fly by night, not by fright, into the big city bright. Stop, that cliche never dying in the steel of the buildings, the warp of the street. But no matter what or where I spin, the pull of a million dead poets takes me to dance once again. Go. But this time, I get to lead until the next flight. This was the note about the pancakes. Karen hot sauce. Letting us invade her space. Don't put hot sauce on pancakes or I, waffles. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh, gross. That's gnarly. Hey, Duggo. Look, there's a dog. Oh, no, that's, that's not a Duggo. That's a bear eating a salmon. You guys seen that picture? Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Maggie. Hard times. Kissimmee, Florida. Looks like they all finally found their home. It's a bunch of her friends, huh? Tidy up some clothes. Got a 
box. She was that close. Sucks she had to pay all that money back. What money? Dear Miss Reynolds, pursuant to our con con oh, I can't speak. Conversation on Ju June 10th and your inability to submit your poetry manuscript the other way or the other way to Ravensbury Press by the contracted deadline of June 1st, 2010. Despite repeated efforts to accommodate you, we regret to inform you that this breach of contract means we shall not no longer be publishing this collection as part of our po new poet sellers. That's that doggo sound! Gups. Three months till I am officially cool face E V N O O B K face E V G J D V A C V G Mama's face of re I. <laughs> new, new emote. emote also. Did you get a new emote? Heck yeah, my dude. Hey, what color do you want? You know how this works. You know how this works, my dude. Nine big ones, my guy. Thank you so much for the continued support. You are a G. I love that alert. That makes me happy. That big old fat oh, no. puppy that. It's falling asleep and falls over. Oh, you got the new cake one? Heck yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I actually think I decided or I came up with what I want to do for some of those. I think I want to use some of the uh, emotes and stuff I made a long time ago uh, just because it'd be something nice to have. You know what I mean? I'm mama. How's you doing, stinky dog? Hey, bunk. Oh, mom is like booping my hand. She's like, bro, bro, I know what this is about. Give me my sub cookies. Oops. You caught it. It bounced off her nose twice and she still caught it. Good thing. Are you booping me saying, um, I need my sub cookies. Dad, I need those. There's your name, my dude. You get you up on the wall of power. I wish I wasn't so far away. Because I'm a lazy bastard. I gotta move. Ugh. Okay. And we got the gups. Blam. With the gold subscriber badge. This on. Move your butt. Move. Nope, not that way. You gotta go that way. Because you will knock over stuff if you go the other way. You turd bucket. Also, I put a hole in this cool blanket. I must have rolled on it or on accident or something because it's right in the hood and that's really upsetting. Anyways, Gups, thank you so much for your continued support, my dude. I do greatly appreciate it. Nine big ones. Also, wait a minute. I think, I don't think we're quite done yet. Yep, we're not quite done yet. New sub. Oh, wait, not new sub. New boss. Either way. That should work. Button. Is it gonna work? There we go. Gups! New Street Boss. Thank you so much for your continued support, my dude! Welcome to Street Boss status. Where's the thing I need to look? Uh. Because we may have a friend that <laughs> Fragger may pop in, so we need to change this right now. Boom. Look at it. That was way faster than I normally do. Blam! We got it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. We were reading a uh, thing about... I think uh, Karen was submitting some of her poetry, and uh, she obviously missed her deadline. A kind uh. Crimson! With the big 40 bitties. You want some bitties? Mama, you want some bitties? Hey, thank you for the bitties. Thank you for the bitties. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you, thank you. How's it going, friend? Welcome to the stream. I thought, uh, I thought you were working late. Although, I guess you're in a different time zone. Uh, I'm still waking up. <laughs> uh... We regret to inform you that the breach of contract means we shall no longer be publishing the collection as part of our new poet series. As stated in the section six of our contract, see attached copy. If the author fails to deliver the manuscript by the agreed date, the publisher has the right to recover a full amount of ten thousand dollars in advance. We have included this letter of payment form and schedule. Man, that's so fucked up. As stated in section twenty-three of our contract, see attached copy. The rights of your manuscript shall revert back to the author upon full payment of the advance. If you have any further questions, please refer to our legal team. 
We wish you the best of luck with your future endeavors. Huh. Is that the same person who rode her back in Beaver Creek? Uh, hi, Rumi. Yes, I know New York in August is hot as balls. You did say you like the heat, but my apartment under the roof can be really suffocating. Don't want to rub it in, but Aspen is my new summer home. Daily temp around 70 and a hot tub at night. Anthony's cabin is more like a ski lodge. Next trip, maybe you can tag along. Poets retreat. Best cure for a writer's block. Heck yeah, dude. Aspen, 70 degrees. Oh, sounds great. And please let me know when you can pay me back for August's rent. I definitely need it for next month and up here in Aspen. I'll see you on September 5th instead of 4th, so put your clothes on. Stay out of trouble and remember to water my babies this time. Love ya. Hmm. Jacob's letter. I'm so glad oh, Jacob and his sister are what he wrote to his mom. <gasps> no! They deserve some peace. It's after the fact. I want to know what happened. Hola, Sean. Sorry I did not write you sooner, but this was the first time I had a chance to relax after we got over Haven Point, thanks to you and your brother. I still can't believe it really happened. So bizarre. Sarah Lee and I do miss our parents. <laughs> God, that scared me. I called it! Fragger, my dude! What's going on, my friend? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I got stuff done early tonight. Oh, nice. Oh, except for the cram for the test. Well, at least you got stuff done early. Good for you. That's awesome. Hopefully, uh, your cram session goes well so you can do something fun to relax. Throw on some Disney movie or something and chill. But how you doing, Fragger? Welcome to the stream, my friend. We should be finishing this up today or tomorrow. Uh, where did I... Oh, yeah. I do miss our parents, but we're not ready to let them know where we are yet. We will figure it out later. With the money you gave me, I could pay a month's rent in advance for a room in a small beach town on the coast. Sarah Lee loves it. She's much better now thanks to the antibiotics. We're doing great. The most important thing to me is my sister, like just like your brother. You are lucky to have each other, and we are blessed upon when you both came our way. I'm trying to track down our Humboldt crew, so I'll keep you posted. I hope everyone's okay after the night at the farm. We all deserve a break and a better future. Please let me know when you make it to the other side. You and Daniel got this. Give our little hero a big hug. Man, Jake is awesome. Oops. Did they send a picture? Oh. So cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition. Oh, uh, that's adorable. She wrote him a letter. Hi, Daniel. Hope you are ha good and happy. I feel so much better now. I'm so happy I got to see the ocean for the first time. I even tried to surf. I think I could be good at it. I wish you were here so we could go to the beach, even in the even if the water is cold. I love this weather way more than the heat. Please come see me us soon. Thanks for being one of my best friends, Sarah Lee. Aww. It was adorable. Heck yeah, I've had that for like a year, my dude. <laughs> I had that before I even switched the camera. Or the stream area. Dogs used to uh, lay on it all the time. On the, uh, the couch. <laughs> Silly guy. Ugh, do not put hot sauce on pancakes. That sounds vile. Man. I'm still not used to this heat. Out now I gotta know if someone actually does put pan or hot sauce on pancake and know what what happened to them. Like, who hurt you to make you want to put hot sauce on pancake? So good to have a home. Again. Our bed. Karen's probably letting us use it, huh? Cassidy. Oh, Cassidy. How much I miss Cassidy's voice and her songs. She gave me a phone number. We're going to have to call her. Dude. Hola, sexy boy. No more city boy. Jake hooked me up with your peel box, so now we can't hide from your old crew. So now you can't hide from your old crew anymore. I know you took off from the hospital. And I'm glad you're still going to Mexico. We've all been fugitives on the run, but you and Daniel are the kings of the road. I hope you finally get back home. Of course, I am not ready to settle down yet, so we're all hanging out at Colorado. Yeah, Colorado! So many games and movies mention Colorado. Like, center hub of awesome. The idea is trying to get far away from the West Coast as possible. Too many ghosts for now. Hard to believe Finn isn't here to start shit, and we don't miss him for that. But he'll get a few more songs out of me. We all want to remember him for his angels, not his demons. I miss you. I'd love to take a road trip out of this shithole, and maybe it would be great to swim with you again. So you better let me know when you hit Mexico, Sean. Don't make me track you down. Here, I'll give you my phone number with no excuses. I like Cassidy. She's cool. 
Guess I'm just blind. 